Hey everyone, I'm going to do a fast video today about uh, how you can expand the capacity of this EcoFlow Delta. This is the Delta 1300, so it does not have any kind of uh, expansion battery uh, port uh, or capability uh, with it. Uh, it just has the standard uh, AC in and uh, the standard uh, solar in uh, ports on the side here. And today I want to show you how you can actually put a fast charge in through this XT60 solar charge port using batteries you've probably got kicking around the house already that, uh, that power your power tools. I did another video about uh, doing this with, a, with smaller size power stations and just a single battery uh, that I'll link up in the top right corner right here. But uh, today we're going to connect these up in series and uh, and plug it into this and uh, dump a uh, fast charge into it. This is a really great way to utilize uh, batteries you probably have kicking around the house already. And uh, you can take them with you when you're camping or whatever and get just a little more uh, capacity out of the, your power station. So let me show you what uh, we're gonna use. Um, this is my little contraption right here. I've got uh, these uh, battery adapters that uh, the power tool batteries will slot into and uh, and then on the end here uh, I've got an XT60 uh, connector got a bundle of those uh, you can buy them pretty cheap off Amazon I'll leave links to all of this down in the description but uh, two of these and uh, the XT60 uh, plug is less than 35 bucks so you can get this and then put your uh, batteries you already own to, to good use. The other things that I like about this are uh, there's a power switch uh, included with these as well as a fuse uh, to protect for overcurrent. Most batteries uh, have protection in them as well but uh, it's always nice to have extra layer of protection. So what I've done is I've wired these in series. Okay, so if uh, if we start here at the XT60 connector, I've got the black side of that coming into the black wire here. It goes through this switch and then it goes into the uh, power adapter. From there, we get transition to the red, goes through this first fuse, okay? And then it comes over and notice that it's now connected to the black cable. And so this black cable comes through another switch, goes through this uh, battery adapter, and then this red wire from this battery adapter comes over, goes through another fuse right here, comes over and comes into the XT60 connector on the red side. So we're gonna connect these batteries uh, in series and double their voltage, which uh, will actually dump a lot of energy really fast into this unit. Make sure, uh, just as a safety note, that you don't exceed whatever the voltage rating is on your power station. In this case, for the Delta 1300, it's 65 volts. I don't know if you can see that or not. These uh, batteries, I'll show you here when they're connected to series and they're fully charged, are about 40 volts total and as they discharge they'll go down so this has a voltage range of uh, 12 to 65 volts so uh, that should uh, work out uh, just great uh, the other thing to make sure of is to make sure that both uh, batteries uh, or whatever batteries you use uh, from your power tools are charged uh, equally uh, because if you put a fully charged battery next to uh, a discharge battery or a low battery there will be a high current and uh, you'll burn up one of your fuses so uh, make sure that uh, both are uh, very close to the same uh, charge level in our case uh, both of these batteries are full and uh, I'm going to double check the voltage with my multimeter uh, here next okay we have the batteries slotted in both switches are turned on at the moment okay We've got the, the meter set to volts DC, so what we'll do is we'll just take the probes and uh, stick them inside the XT60 cable. Now this is beeping because uh, we're over the uh, voltage threshold uh, that it could potentially be dangerous at this point, so that's why you need to exercise caution. But you can see there uh, it's outputting 40.8 volts. 
which is uh, safely within the uh, voltage uh, range of EcoFlow. I've got a small load plugged in. I've got a little air purifier right here. Um, and uh, I just wanted to demonstrate at the same time that uh, you can charge the EcoFlow while it's running a appliance, uh, running a load. So you can see there we're only pulling about 14 or 15 watts. So not very much, 14, 13 right there. So let's, uh, let's have some fun. So I'm going to turn the switch, one of the switches off. Doesn't need to have both. I mean, you can turn off both if you want. And then we just uh, take this plug and uh, we're going to just plug it in to the uh, solar charge uh, port right there. Okay. As you can see, nothing is happening at the moment because the switch is turned off. So if we flip the switch on, we should uh, start seeing this accept power. There we go. I'm going to use one of my probes to point. You can see the voltage right here going up 200, 220, 240. Continue to go up 300. So there we go. Uh, it uh, has settled out to about uh, just over 300 watts of power input. So without any kind of converters or anything, uh, these two uh, batteries are dumping in over 300 watts to this. This has a max input on the DC side of 400. So uh, we're uh, just uh, under that. Uh, but that uh, that'll charge this up uh, pretty quick, and especially if you have a relatively uh, low uh, draw on it. But even still, you know, if you've got uh, a couple of these batteries, you know, four or, or six or eight of them or whatever, uh, you can just cycle them through. Uh, you could dump a lot of extra energy into uh, the EcoFlow. Just a fast note here: um, my particular batteries are Makita batteries. Any power tool battery, whether it uh, is an 18 volt platform, 12 volt platform, 40 volt platform, uh, are all possibilities. Uh, I'll leave links to the, in the description for all of these exact components that I used. I'll also leave a link down below uh, that you can follow and just do a search for uh, some battery adapters to match whatever brand of power tool battery uh, you own and uh, that way you can adapt uh, the same uh, setup. For what it's worth, uh, you can also just hook up a single battery and uh, it's going in and you can see it's not dumping in quite as fast as the charge, uh, but still putting in 142, 141 uh, watts. So it's still pretty good uh, for uh, just a single battery. Uh, obviously you get uh, quite a bit more by doubling them up. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, fast charging from uh, two power tool batteries and uh, is a cheap, easy way to expand the capacity of your power station and uh, give it a fast charge. Now uh, you can see here we're still putting in over 300 watts of power. So anyway, if you like this kind of content, uh, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in a comment. Uh, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks so much.